Hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my laundry room makeover series part two. I'm starting this video off with some before and after shots of my laundry room. So far we've got new flooring and we've painted the walls and it's just looking amazing. Isn't it just crazy how a gallon of paint can totally transform a room? These new floors, oh my goodness, I am just loving them. We painted the walls in agreeable gray from Sherwin-Williams and the floor is vinyl plank flooring in the Traffic Master brand that we picked up from Home Depot. In today's video, we'll be putting all my food items back into my pantry, setting up a new laundry sorter, and painting the cabinets that I bought to go over the washer and dryer. If this happens to be the first time you've stopped by my channel, hello, I'm Robin. I'm so, so happy that you're here. Now let's get this video started. All right, we're gonna start by putting together this clothes sorter that I picked up off of Amazon. I'm gonna insert a picture here because there's not a picture on the box. Um, I'm hoping this sorter will serve two different purposes for me. I need the basket compartments to hold my towels and to hold my everyday clothes. And then I'm hoping the top of this sorter is sturdy enough where I can store Derek's work clothes. I've mentioned this on my channel before. And if you noticed in one of my before shots, um, we keep Derek's work clothes right here by the washer and dryer. Derek is a diesel mechanic and so his clothes get really, really dirty. So I have to wash those separate from any of my clothes and it's just easier for him to have his work clothes right here together um, in the mornings when he goes to get dressed. So I'd like to continue that since that is a system he's used to doing. So I'm hoping the top of this sorter, like I said, is sturdy enough and it will withhold uh, all Derek's work clothes, his blue jeans and his work shirts that um, he uses on an everyday basis. So hopefully, you know, sometimes we see things on Amazon and it's got good reviews and it looks like it's something that we can benefit from, but we get it in and it's either flimsy or just not what, we're, what we needed. Um, so fingers crossed that once I get this together, um, it's going to fit perfectly over here in front of the washer and dryer in the corner where I had that other shelf sitting at. If you saw my home decor closet video, I've mentioned several times in that video that I do not like assembling any item that has to be assembled. I do not like to do it at all. And Dirk is no help because he doesn't like to assemble things either. So we're both in pretty sad shape when we have to assemble something. And so I've been putting off trying to assemble this laundry sorter for some, now, for some time now. And so today is the day that I've got to stop and get it together. So I'm just gonna quickly read through these directions. I love it when directions have lots of pictures and this one did and it seemed like it was gonna be hard to put together at first however it was quite simple it just had a couple of screws and actually this wasn't as difficult as I thought it was going to be once I studied the instructions for a few minutes looked at some pictures and saw that it wasn't um, and saw that there really wasn't a lot of parts I was somewhat relieved I think the hardest part was sitting on this floor oh my goodness these old bones of mine get the best of me sometimes but once I started putting the top on, I realized that it was going to be very sturdy. So I was very impressed with this, first of all. It's very well built. You just have to make sure you get those screws in 
tightened pretty tightly but I really loved the kind of the cream color of this sweater also it's not a true white it's kind of an off cream color and I thought it went really well with my paint color if you're interested in this laundry sorter at all, I'll have it linked below in my description box. I mentioned in my laundry room makeover part one, see here how my floors are not the same. I'm still so, so sad about that. It doesn't flow very well. However, I'm still very grateful that I was able to save up some money and get some new flooring in here. It looks absolutely fabulous, but I am going to have to get used to this not flowing from my kitchen into my utility room very well, but I've got a rug to put down here. It's not going to really, it might help it some as far as the flow from one room to the other. We shall see see maybe with a rug there I'll kind of take your focus off of the entry of the door and more onto the rug but it has been so so wet here lately guys it's been raining in Texas non-stop and so I do not want to put my new rug down when we are still tracking in mud and leaves and dirt so it may be part three or part four before I put that rug down but I do have a really pretty new jute rug to put down here that should cover most of the floor here by the back door Okay, we're finally done. I tried to talk you guys through all of that assembling process. I know that was quite boring. I tried to speed it up for you guys, but here's what it looks like over here in the corner. I think it looks really good. Now, let's get these little sorters on here and get this completely put together. Okay, and while we're in this area of the laundry room, I'm going to insert a picture here of what I'd like to do once the cabinets are hung above the washer and dryer, but right maybe right even with that fuse box that you see there I would like to maybe do some wainscoting with some hooks and that across that whole wall there because I've got uh, lots of things that I want to hang and I think that look will kind of break up all of these plain walls give a little bit of character and maybe add a little bit more interest a little bit of definition I really want to add this feature here to the end of the laundry room down here at the end I think it's the perfect place um, and then on those hooks I'll show you here in a second Derek has some long sleeve button up uh, jackets that he wears to work and he likes to keep those hung up and so that's a perfect place to kind of hang these up up on um, the little black hooks that you saw in that picture so that will most likely be the last thing I do here in the utility room is add that little feature because I still need to get the cabinets hung up and some more things done um, and then once that's complete that might be my last feature that I do here in the utility room but I do want to have that done here on this back wall here at the end of the laundry room okay so as I was talking did anyone see I was desperately trying to figure out how in the world these little baskets go on this bar and I was just putting them on the wrong bar I was putting them on the bar that slid into the slots and that's not where they go they actually went on the little small bars that are on the outside of the slots. so 
so sorry if this is aggravating you watching me try to figure this out. You were probably screaming at me saying, Robin, you're putting them on the wrong bar. But it took me a while. Obviously, I did not read the instructions on how to put these little cloth um, bags on here. But finally, I figured it out. But it took me quite a while to figure it out. But finally got it done. Oh my goodness, you can see me just getting so aggravated at myself here. And I'm like, okay, one more time. I'm going to try it one more time. But um, anyway, finally got it figured out. And once I get this together, I am so, so happy with it. And everyone says hallelujah Robin finally figured it out I wasn't about to show you guys me putting the other two baskets on there so I just showed you one but if you order the same one you'll at least know not to make the mistake I did but see how easily they just pull out I am so so happy with these I think I'll use one for like my dark clothes one for my towels and one maybe for my delicate clothes and then like I said just keep Dirk's clothes on top so this is definitely an item I would highly recommend if you need something like this for your laundry room. Okay, and here's a quick pick of the jackets I was talking about. Derek has several of them, and these are the ones he would like to have hung up. I had a little um, shelf hanging there with some little pegs on it that I would keep these hanging on. So now that there's nothing there for his shirts to hang on, I definitely want to have, add that feature down here at the end with those little black hooks so that he can hang his jackets there. But for right now, we're just going to lay them across this little clothes divider. All right, now let's get everything that's here on the dining room table back into the pantry and get the pantry filled back up with all the food. My goal today is just mainly to get everything off the dining room table and into the pantry. I've got a few organizers coming in from Amazon that I want to use in the pantry. However, they didn't come in in time for me to use in today's video. But by the time I get my secret pantry in, I should have all the organizers that I need and we'll do a little bit more organizing here in the pantry. But like I said, today my goal is just to get all the food back in here and get it off of the dining room table. I'm doing this voiceover on a Sunday morning. Home Depot sent me a message yesterday that they have my pantry. It's already assembled and ready for me to pick up. Like I said earlier, it's been raining a lot here in Texas, so when they texted me yesterday morning, which is a Saturday, it had been raining here, so I told them that it might be Sunday or Monday before I could get by there to pick it up, but I should be able this afternoon to, um, to go ahead and go to the Home Depot and pick up the pantry, but in today's video, you're just going to see me fill this one pantry back up, but I am very excited to have two pantries here in the laundry room and um, they're just going to be they're just alike so I ordered the same pantry from Home Depot and I had it shipped to their store and then they just assembled assembled it for me and I'll drive a truck so I'll go to Home Depot and they'll load it up for me and then when I get home today uh, I should have Jonathan and Jay here this afternoon and Derek so they can unload it for me because I believe this is the day they're going to come over and hang my laundry shelves my my new laundry room shelves that go above the washer and dryer so I'm very excited I come Monday morning I should have my second pantry and I should have my new cabinets hung here in the laundry room so I'm very excited about that I'm going to insert a picture here once those cabinets are hung I have a friend that's going to come over he makes cabinets and he is going to hopefully be able to measure and do some of these floating shelves for me to go between my new cabinets he'll have to build them and then he'll have to come and install those open shelves so very excited to have this somewhat similar look these cabinets in this picture are very very pretty and very expensive and where these cabinets are actually painted a color 
I just went with white for my cabinets. But I'm hoping to get, this is sort of an idea of what I want, and I'm hoping to get as close to this look as I can. Okay, friends, are you still with me? Give me a heart emoji or a smiley face emoji if you're still with me. I know this last video and then this video has just been a lot of uh, taking out, organizing, cleaning, decluttering, um, and not really the fun stuff as far as like the after look of my utility room, decorating my utility room, but I promise guys, it's coming, hang in there with me. I know my loyal friends and subscribers, um, you guys are coming back and you're watching all the way through and leaving me the sweetest comments and um, that you're excited for me with this laundry room makeover and I appreciate your support so, so, so much but this should be the last video of just a lot of like decluttering and cleaning like I mentioned before um, hopefully the next couple of videos will be will actually you seeing me decorate this laundry room um, I also filmed a Sunday reset with me this weekend to kind of break up these laundry room videos uh, the series is gonna probably have five or six parts to it so this coming Sunday you'll see this on a Wednesday I believe and then this coming Sunday I'll have a Sunday reset for you guys just for a little bit of change but now that we've got everything back into the pantry we're gonna quickly move out and we're gonna do some painting on my couch cabinets now to save some money I bought the cabinets that were unfinished I'm showing you guys right here where the extra cabinets gonna go or the extra pantry is gonna go and I'm very excited about that there'll also be a video where I organize and fill up that second pantry however now we're gonna move outside and we're gonna put a little bit of paint on these cabinets now we guys know Robin hates to paint we hate it hate it hate it however it must be done and so I bought these ready to finish cabinets just to save me a little bit of many and these came from Lowe's my wonderful friend Rebecca works at Lowe's back in the cap cabinetry department and so she helped me find the perfect cabinets for the laundry room now I'm just gonna go with this ultra white color here on the cabinets I'll reinsert the picture of my inspiration for the cabinets over the wash and dryer and they are painted and they are beautiful and I might eventually change it up but when I started this laundry room makeover I thought you know I'm just gonna do white and go from there my trim is the bright white so I think it's gonna go really well with that agreeable gray in the laundry room just kind of fresh and clean is what I'm going for so real quickly I'm gonna speed up these parts and I'm not gonna to have to do all um, let's see I'm not gonna to have to do some of the side cabinets because this cabinet is actually gonna go against the wall so I'm not gonna paint that right side and I probably could have taken off these doors and be a little bit easier to paint however I was so afraid Derek wasn't home today this was my day off this is actually my birthday I'm painting cabinets on my birthday I took the day off to get these cabinets painted um, and so I was home alone and I was just afraid if I took off these cabinet doors I would have trouble getting them back on so y'all I just painted them with them on and it turned out pretty good I did have to do two coats of paint though on the cabinets and it turned out really great Okay, I didn't show you guys all of my painting today. I just put in some clips so that you could get a little bit of painting satisfaction because I know sometimes watching someone paint is very soothing and satisfying. But I, so I did put a couple of shots of painting into this video, but not a whole lot.
So if you happen to be new today, I would love it if you would maybe introduce yourself to me in the comment section, maybe where you're from, your name. I'd love to hear from you. I also have an Instagram account. I would love for us to follow each other over on that platform. You can find me at Robin Lane Lowe. Uh, Derek and I are empty nesters. We have three grown children and five grandchildren. Uh, I'm a born and raised Texas girl. We have raised our kids in this home. It's a very lived in. However, we love it. We're blessed to have it. And God truly keeps blessing our family. Here on my channel, I offer lots of decorating, lots of cleaning, lots of organizing, just simple living here on my channel. So if these are, so if this is content that you're interested in, I would love it if you would take a second before you leave today, subscribe to my channel, hit that thumbs up button and hit that bell notification button. So you won't miss any video in this laundry room makeover series. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you watching all the way to the end of the video that helps out this video so, so much. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and friends, I will see you in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for spending some of your precious, precious time with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye friends. <music>